I think you're going to see that fuel window and that pit be a lot closer to that one. Last one, they were pitted at 20, 21, coming to 22. That did not work for them, guys. Well, traditionally, if one of these races is a parade, the other one is a barn burner. Let's find out. Stop pushing here. Four teams still lined up. All even, still two by two. Four cars coupled together up front, now three on the inside. Larson, Briscoe, and Kyle Busch in the eight. Connected there, big push by Briscoe, moving up right in front of his teammate. Now Marola drops in in third from the outside of the front row, has a look, thinks uh, better of it, has another out look. There. Briscoe is trying to go with him, trying to get the 10 in line on the bottom, did not work out. It'd be interesting if Briscoe will move up in front of him, take the forge to the front, but that's going to stack up a lot of them Chevys underneath of them. 10 Chevys in this, seven Fords. And four Toyotas who qualified last night, 20th through 26th. I'm telling you though, those Toyotas sleeping. Don't do not count them guys out off of qualifying speed. Nope. Bad fast when it comes to drafting. Here's the driver's eye cam. You see, there's blurring out on the on the dash there. That's proprietary information with team to team. You don't need to see that, but I'm telling you, this is going to be a really cool angle as we progress through the year such a neat thing that camera is so tiny mike and i got to see it in the point like literally tinier than anything i've ever seen i cannot believe that that's a camera that can produce the images that it does whoa briscoe got squirreled up just a little bit not sure if that was contact from kyle bush or not and it really let that outside line just roll right around the outside of kyle larson Oh, yes, that was contact. And that slip up stacks that bottom line up, and here the outside comes. But they're getting a big run on the bottom. Yeah, now. Briscoe getting a little frisky there with the five. Another thing with that push from Kyle Busch, the Chevrolets, you hear these drivers talk about it, that arrow, you know, spearhead on the front of that thing, the, the forward is a lot flatter front end enables those guys to push a little bit harder. I think that's what you saw with Kyle Busch on the bumper of the 14. Now this year, all three manufacturers have a new nose piece and Chevrolet made some effort at trying to resist that, uh, reduce that pointiness. So those cars would push in the draft and be with a little more stable than what we saw here last year. 